All right, guys, unfortunately, I did not bring any gloves to the rain. We had 12 mags in with this gun. Uh, I am gonna pour a tiny bit of ice water here on the gun, just to make it cool enough to be able to hold. All right, I'm gonna pour some ice water on my hand, put my ears on with one hand. And we're gonna try to finish out this video uh, with the staccato. Just talking about why, oh, that's way better, why uh, pistols don't suck. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Trench Grenade channel. I'm your host, the handgun enjoyer that your mom said that we have at home. Today we are on the range today, so bear with any gunfire you hear in the background. The topic of today's video is going to be that handguns do not suck, you suck. And we're going to dive into it. Guys, the latest trend on the internet is there was a video of a police officer or a cop that ended up engaging a, uh, we'll just say a criminal decisively, and he had to engage him with two to three magazines from his Glock service pistol. Now, we're going to dive into that, guys, and I want to say this is nothing against that officer. Uh, he did what he had to do. He put rounds on target, and he ended the threat. Well, with that being said, guys, handguns don't suck. It's all about where you put bullets. You could, have, you could have 100 rifle rounds, and if you hit in the wrong spot, it's not going to mean anything different than if you shot him with a handgun or if you shot him with a freaking laser beam, okay? So at the end of the day, shot placement does matter, and actually getting good hits in either the heart, the lungs, or the brain, the eye box, or the groin, okay? Those are really the only places you want to hit them. The groin, the heart, the lungs, and the eye box slash the brain, okay, guys? And with that being said, we are uh, out here. We are going to be shooting a Staccato C2. This will be the first rounds through the handgun. This will be the break-in period, I guess. There sh shouldn't really be a break-in period, but this will be the break-in period with the handgun. Before I continue, guys, if you enjoy this content, check out the Patreon. It is only $5 a month. It gets you access to the Discord server where you can find buddies to train with and to game with, stay up late, and talk about all your favorite uh, shooting footage uh, from the internet, okay? Additionally, the sponsor of the video is PSA. If you need some bulk ammo or some magazines or you need a dagger or whatever, check out Palmetto State Armory. They are mega base, and they will be down in the description below. Okay, guys, these will be the first rounds with this staccato pistol i'm going to give you guys a little bit of a better angle so you can see we will be engaging here at approximately 50 40 to 50 meters okay and the reason is because if you suck then it doesn't matter but if you don't suck and you can actually hit what you're trying to engage then guess what if you can hit at what you're aiming at guys then guess what Handguns definitely do not suck. Uh, let's give it just some control pairs real quick. As I miss. And guess what? Nothing gets edited out uh, on this channel for dramatic effect. Here we go. I'm going to slow down a little bit and get some freaking control pairs. Okay, there we go. We are running all stock staccato magazines today. There we go. Okay, helps if you actually, 255, helps if I actually slow down, think about what I'm doing here. All right, so far so good. Give you guys a little bit of a different angle so you can see the handgun here. That way you can actually see this handgun uh, in action in all of its glory. Okay, we'll do some control pairs. As I say that, but I, the gun is fun to shoot, guys. Strangely, all those misses you're hearing are right off the top left shoulder. Get another magazine here. 
Like I said, we're running all staccato magazines stock. Out here at 50 meters, talking about why handguns don't suck, why we suck. One nine zero. One six two. One three nine. One nine one. Five seven eight had a miss there. One six zero. One six one. Sweet so far. Yeah, guys, so it's important to remember that handgun is just a tool, right? Um, and don't be a tool. Right? The handgun is just a tool, okay? Um, and in the right hands, the handgun might be all you need. And a good battle belt. There we go. First six mags through the gun. She's running great. Um, but guys, a handgun is just that. It's just a tool, okay? Um, don't get wrapped so much around, I need this thing or I need that thing or this sucks or that sucks. No, in the right hands, the handguns might be all you need. All right, guys, so I'm gonna load up some mags here. Fired six mags through the gun. First six mags, we're already doing a break-in period at the same time um, as we're talking about handguns. So. Here's my thoughts on handguns. Honestly, I think handguns are the average uh, citizen or the average patriot. I think they're your best friend, and here's why. Uh, I want you to imagine any sort of realistic uh, emergency that you find yourself in that's not direct combat with the enemy, okay? Um, you're gonna need to be carrying a lot of stuff, a lot of water. If you're married, you have kids, you're gonna possibly have to carry a kid, you know? All the logistical things that come along with that. Uh, and handguns are just handy, and I think the modern trend or the modern hype is, oh, okay, yes, are handguns in a military sense only used to fight to a rifle? Yes, that is a handgun's tool in a military sense is, you know, when your primary goes down, you fight to a secondary weapon, that being the handgun. But most of you, day in and day out, you're going to be carrying your handgun, right? Your, your everyday carry, uh, whether, whether that be a Glock 19, a Staccato C2, whatever you're carrying, right? Uh, some probably something in that uh, subcompact size, 15 to 15 to 17 rounds uh, on tap. And as, if you can engage like we are right here at 50 meters uh, with your in intended threat, I mean, uh, and you can actually conceal it. You can carry a lot of extra magazines for it. For a lot of you, that's going to be all you really need is just proficiency with that handgun. Uh, yes, is it cool and is it awesome to be able to have a rifle? Yeah, it's awesome if you can afford it or if you can afford it as far as size and weight, right? Size and weight constraints and you can actually carry a rifle around. And yeah, it's obviously going to be better than a handgun. Uh, but what I would encourage you to do is get reps on the range and get reps with that uh, weapon, okay? And if you realize, okay, I'm in a realistic, you know, grid down, alien invasion, zombie apocalypse, you know, whatever the, the situation is you're preparing for, uh, if you start to realize that, Hey man, uh, this, this rifle is a little big and I'm going to have to carry a lot of stuff. You know, you got to be reasonable with yourself and you're going you're to need to pick a good handgun with good capacity. These are 20 round magazines that I'm loading up right now for this staccato, uh, good capacity, a good caliber. I recommend nine millimeter and you're going to have to be realistic with yourselves. Yes. Does everyone want a 16 inch AR with an ACOG and a laser aiming device and a ton of mag, you know, 
10 magazines and body armor. Yeah, that's what we want. But if we're being realistic with ourselves, uh, a handgun might be all you need. Okay. And when I say need, I mean like, what, what are you actually going to be engaged in? Okay. 50 meters and in, maybe 100 meters. Um, and then, okay, you're going to be carrying a ton of water, carrying a ton of, uh, you know, medical supplies, things to actually survive other than just the weapon. The weapons are actually an afterthought in most situations, guys. Um, and I don't want you guys to get so wrapped around the axle on, uh, the weapon where you're starting to make sacrifices elsewhere. We are right here uh, 50 meters, like I said, and those are some good hits right there. One, eight, three. One, eight, six. One, eight, one. One seven two. One nine two. One eight three. Right now I'm just kind of doing can't miss speed, guys. Nice and slow. Two one two. Just going nice and slow. The staccato is really sweet. Trigger is really sweet. About a four pound trigger. Give you guys a different angle here. As we move down range just a little bit, because there's going to be some high speed in the comment section that's like. Oh, you're just shooting slow from far away. So we'll just do some quick shots up, up close here. Like, it'll still do it pretty close, guys. Also, shout out to the new Fallout stickers. They are a vibe. War never changes. Boom. There we go. Here's one mag, slow fire at 50 meters, just to demonstrate the capabilities of the pistol. It is getting uh, almost too hot where I can barely touch it. Okay, here we go. Oof, she is hot, guys. She is hard to even hold. <clears throat> All right, guys, unfortunately, I did not bring any gloves to the rain. We had 12 mags in with this gun. Uh, I am going to pour a tiny bit of ice water here on the gun just to make it cool enough to be able to hold. All right, I'm going to pour some ice water on my hand, put my ears on with one hand. And we're going to try to finish out this video uh, with the staccato. Just talking about why, oh, that's way better, why uh, pistols don't suck. <laughs> All right, we got some ice water on the gun, ice water on my hand. Let's try to knock these other 10 mags out here.
another one-handed reload here. Last mag. So again, guys, pistols don't suck. It's just us. We suck. Here's the deal, guys. For me, pistols are the meta. You got to decide for you and for your family kind of what your meta is going to be, okay? Bottom line, this thing has gone through 22 mags, had to pour ice water on it, and it's still running. One six five. One six one. One five two. One five four miss. 156 1-5-6 1-5-0 1-5-2 1-4-6 One five one. One five zero. One five two. One two one. One four six. One four eight. One four seven. One four eight. One four six. One, three, nine. Well, Staccato has been completely reliable the first 500 rounds through it. I expect nothing less. Um, been a good day on the range so far. Honestly, guys, I'm just happy to be out here filming for y'all. It's been a busy few weeks with work. Um, we've fired, like I said, at least 500 rounds. This pistol has gotten hot uh, to the point where we had to pour ice water on it. Post down below if that's a bad idea but guess what it's a bull barrel and um it helps pistol's been 100 percent reliable and let me know if pouring ice water on your staccato is a bad idea but guess what don't really care because uh, i'm going to treat it like a glock and that's something i would do to my glock to keep training okay um guys remember pistols don't suck it's all about the operator behind it okay if you're really good with a pistol then guess what uh keep training with it okay guys uh, thanks for being here. Reminder, check out the Patreon if you want to support the channel. It's only $5 a month. You can pay more, but I'm not asking you to do all that, guys. Uh, additionally, uh, the sponsor of the channel 
is Palmetto State Armory. They are a mega base. Get down there and get some bulk ammo from them. Um, ultimately, guys, if you think of a situation like a uh, bug out or, you know, if you look at Afghanistan, uh, the withdrawal from Afghanistan and all those uh, people that were trying to pull out, um, they wouldn't have been able to have their family and everything they needed to survive and a rifle. Plus, they can't conceal a rifle. So for me, honestly, a handgun is kind of uh, the meta right now, and I'm having a blast filming with handguns, guys. So just let me know down below what your thoughts are. Uh, I think 20 rounds of 9mm, you know, and quick reloads with something like the Staccato C2 is uh, good enough for me right now, guys. We are going to put a little bit of water on this bad Larry, just on the grip because she's getting extremely hot again here. Oof. You can hear her sizzling a little bit. Just on the grip. Just a little bit of ice water. All right, we're going to go down range. 40 more rounds through the gun. She's extremely hot. And then uh, we're going to call it a day, guys. All right, here we go. Going to do some one rounds, guys. Ignore this first beep. Here we go. Ooh, she's hot. The grip is okay, but the slide is extremely painful to touch. Oof, she is hot, guys. Yep, that slide's just gonna stay to the rear for now. All right, guys, last mag of the day. I lied, this thing's too much fun to shoot. Even though she's extremely hot, last mag of the day. At 50 meters. <laughs> Oof. Excellent. 50 meters with the Staccato C2. Extremely hot gun for an extremely hot day. Here we go. Hundred rounds through the gun. Pistols don't suck. 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 She's a hot girl.
guys up until today this pistol has zero rounds through it we're going to 800 rounds right now it's been doused four times this gun is sweet easily my favorite gun right now again 50 meters no issue at all one miss yeah this thing is freaking sweet guys around 400 rounds we said it was our last mag but um i'm addicted so here's one more mag At this point, it's safe to say staccato beats Glock and handguns are the meta for most of you guys, okay? Most of you guys can't conceal or carry a uh, rifle every day, so guess what? Uh, something like this staccato C2 is probably going to be the meta for you. Nine hundred rounds today so far. I am hooked on the staccato. You can probably tell my hands are completely covered in carbon. This thing has taken a couple baths, ice water baths today to keep it growing. Fifty meters, guys. I love this thing. Handguns are awesome. Have a good week, guys. Until next time, this is going to be Trench Grenade, the staccato handgun enjoyer that your mom said that we have at home. Signing out. Cheers.